But uh, yeah, my guess is something is absolutely going to pass. It's a we're in a, we're in a, a down economic cycle coming into an election year, so there's a lot of political pressure to pass something. So I fully expect something to pass before the August recess. You did see yesterday, I think that the. Uh, program was extended till August 5th. That just coincidentally lines up with the next time that Congress goes on vacation in August. Um, I'm hopeful, though, that they're looking at it through the economic lens and not the political lens, because I think one of the things that Congress is relearning again is that economic stimulus is slow. As of last week, which is the last time I checked, I think that almost half of the money from the last stimulus program had not entered the economy yet. Um, and when you talk about passing stimulus legislation politically, what it does is heighten expectations from people that things are going to get better very, very quickly, and they don't. So the politics of stimulus is very, very tricky. The economics of stimulus is something I, I hope they're looking at. Um, I do hope they're looking at, um, in fact, I've heard they are looking at uh, a capital gains holiday, which might unlock some economic activity, um, some other smaller bits and pieces, but recognizing the fact that they also have to fix what was broken last time. We've talked on this program before about the risks of that extended or advanced unemployment insurance that's actually discouraging people from going back to work. So there's a lot of work to be done. They've got the whole month of July. They're not here for much of July because of the 4th of July break, but I do expect something to pass by the end of the month. So, Mick, just to understand, though, is your, is your sense or view that, that there's still enough stimulus in the system that hasn't reached the public that we don't need to necessarily pass another bill? Well, I think certainly you have to ask that question, Andrew. I mean, I, the, the numbers I saw were that uh, I think bank cash deposits since April are up by $2 trillion. So even some of the money that is out of the government coffers and out in the economy is sitting right. in banks. So uh, I, I think it bears questioning whether or not we've seen the full impact of the previous stimulus, which is a reasonable discussion to have before you vote on another one. Right. Does a capital gains holiday, which you just mentioned, make sense to you? I think so. We had looked previously at the uh, at the possibility of tying capital gains to inflation um, so that you didn't pay capital gains on inflation. You only paid capital gains on true gain. Um, and if that's getting any sort of attention, I think that would be a good thing. I think it unlocks uh, a lot of assets that might be tied up because of high uh, unrealized capital gains. So that could be uh, that could be a stimulus short term could also be something to look at permanently uh, as part of a, a larger package. How do you think the administration thinks about that, meaning a capital gains uh, uh, holiday, in the context of what I think people look at as this, this COVID crisis uh, creating more and more inequality? Is that an issue that you think the administration or, frankly, the Senate uh, or the House would think about? Sure. I think everybody thinks about it. And as you look at, as I mentioned, I think you look at this as part of a, another package uh, of stimulus, for lack of a better word. And the other thing the White House has looked at a couple times over um, is that uh, so-called middle-class tax cut that would come in the form of uh, reducing your, your withholding taxes, your, your, your FICA. Uh, that's a way right. to get money into folks' pockets in the middle class very, very quickly. Um, all things considered, though, I, I, I hope that they're also considering, and I know some of them are. I know Kevin Hassett uh, just left the administration. He had come back for a short period of time. But I know that Kevin was very concerned long-term about inflation, which we don't talk about much anymore. I wish that we would. Uh, but if you end up uh, with uh, inflation, it's one of the worst taxes on the middle class and the elderly. So again, I hope that balancing is going on, and I'm confident that it is. Nick, I have a question, sort of get inside the brain, inside, inside the administration for a moment. And my question relates to masks. I don't know if you, you saw, there was a Goldman Sachs report that came out in the past 48 hours suggesting that if we masked up as a country, um, we could really move this economy into a much better place and do it much more quickly. Why do you think the president has not been more aggressive publicly himself and the vice president advocating for masking? Uh, it's, a, it's a good question. It's a fair question. Here's, here's what I think, is that when we got into this, and think back now to February and March, what were we told? We were told that some of the things to be really, really worried about was, was getting this virus from a hard surface getting this virus from asymptomatic um, folks who had the virus but weren't showing any symptoms. Um, now we know or we think that maybe those are not the easiest ways to get this virus and those are not the highest risks. And it is actually getting it from folks who have symptoms. I think that analysis on masks needs to change, should be changing. I think you're starting to see more and more people wear them. I think Secretary Mnuchin and, and uh, uh, 
Uh, Mr. Powell both wore them yesterday to their hearings. I've seen the vice president in them. Certainly the president could start wearing them to send that message. Look, um, the real the, the way you get this virus is by getting it from someone who is sick. And if you wear a mask and they wear a mask, it reduces the risk dramatically. So right. the message could be wear a mask and, and, and go to work, wear a mask and get on an airplane, wear a mask and go to church, wear a mask and go to one of my rallies. Um, but that that message right. um, could be uh, could be changed now, I think, based upon new information.